If you want to be a leader, you're going to have to step away from the crowd. You're going to have to turn your back to the masses of the people. Because leaders always are people who go against the grain. They're rare. Many times and oftentimes they walk their journey all alone. Leadership can indeed be a very lonely place. But if you're anchored on the inside, if you have a spiritual root that grows deep, a personal relationship that has been linked together with the greatest leader of all, Jesus Christ, then that lonesome journey is not so lonesome because you know you've never been left alone. No matter who you are, where you live, where you go, and what you've done or failed to do. Leaders lead. They don't watch. They're not spectators. They do what they are influencing those who follow them to do. That's another reason there is no competition at the top. Now, how did they get there? Well, they created it. It all started with a dream in their own mind that was given to them by their Creator. And then they pursued that vision and they turned it into reality because they never wavered. They continued to move day after day, week after week. It's called perseverance. And then when God chooses the right time, things fall together hand in glove and you wake up one morning and you have earned the right to lead others. Most leaders didn't set out to be leaders. They were forced to become leaders. And so it is with you. If you want to make it big in life, you've got to follow somebody who knows who they are and where they're going. And you draw from observation what you see in those people. Keep that talent, duplicate it, and persevere. Oh, yeah. Now, if you have a question as to whether or not you can do that, let me answer it for you if you're staggering in your walk. You can do that. But you have to have a reason for it. And that comes from your own heart. Can you do it? Sure. The real question is, will you do it? Now, I can't answer that for you, friend. That comes from your own heart. But if you have decided to lead, you got to do what leaders do. And the most important of those things is they have a spiritual root to their life, and they don't know quit. They just persevere and continue to perform, even when there are no visible results. Because success is an inside-out proposition and I want to tell you, if you want to succeed, it's going to start inside, and it may take a while before it ever comes into existence on the outside. Quit measuring your length of time. That's not your choice. Stay steady, 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 on, on, onward. And when God decides it's right, He'll let it all materialize, and you'll step back in awe and wonder what you did to ever deserve the rewards and blessings that will shower down upon you. I believe in you. I know God believes in you. Do you believe in you? Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.